Hi, now here we've got to factorise completely x minus 4x cubed for three marks. So uh, let's see how we do that. In fact, you might like to pause the video and have a go if you want to. Come back when we're ready and I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So uh, let's see how you get on. Well, first of all, all I'd want to do is put up an intro and that would be x minus 4x cubed. What is this identical to? Well, first of all, I'd look for a common factor and that's going to be x. It's in both terms. So pull x out the front of a bracket and I'll have x times 1 to give me the x and then minus 4x squared to give me 4x cubed, OK? But it does say factorise completely, so that does seem to suggest that it's going to factorise further. Well, this factor here, 1 minus 4x squared, does factorise further. It's what we call the difference of two squares. You should be familiar with that. That is that if you have a squared minus b squared, something squared minus something else squared, it's identical to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. OK, difference of two squares then. So what we can do with this is say that this is identical to that x. And this is the result of squaring 1. So it's 1 minus, and this is the result of squaring 2x. So it's 1 minus 2x multiplied by 1 plus 2x. Obviously, you can write 1 plus 2x times 1 minus 2x. It's not going to make any difference. Up to you which way you go. So we've now got three factors, the x, the 1 minus 2x, and the 1 plus 2x. Do any of these factors factorise any further? Well, no. So that is it, fully factorised. OK?